Hey everyone, James Brandon here, and in this short video, I'm going to go over the way that I use Adjust from Topaz Labs to post-process my images in Photoshop. This is an image uh, I took literally around the corner from my house. There's a field here in Keller, Texas, and every now and then they, they seem to let these longhorns roam around. And I was driving by with my camera one day and, and saw this guy right by the fence, so I hopped out and went over and took some uh, portraits of him and he was kind enough to uh, kind of just sit there and glare at me unknowingly. <laughs> so um, here's the image and the first thing I'm going to do is hit Command J and that's going to duplicate the layer over here on the right. And that allows me to come back to this base layer at any time if I need to revert back to the original image. So on the second layer I'm just going to go ahead and click that and name it Topaz adjust and uh, let's try that again with the whole thing highlighted um, topaz adjust there we go and with that done I'm going to come up to filters and come down here to topaz labs and select adjust for and as you can see, I, I didn't have to speed this video up at all. Um, the new version of Adjust is incredibly fast and it loads almost right away. And when it loads up, you have the full screen view here and you have your, all your filters that you'd like to uh, go through and select over here on the left. And as you highlight each filter, it'll give you a little bit of a preview up there in the top left hand side. So you can of course make that larger if you'd like to, to make that thumbnail bigger, but I'm going to leave it just like this. And you can kind of go through here, and if you see one that you think you might like, you can select it, make it larger. <clears throat> and on this image, I think it's going to be between crisp and dramatic. I use crisp a lot. Um, in this one, dramatic's giving me a little bit better detail in the shadow areas. So I'm going to come over here to the right side where you can kind of tweak the, um, the adjustment layer here. I'm going to come down to strength and boost this up a little bit. And I'm okay in adjust going past where I need to go. So I know that this is going to look a little bit extreme, but that's because I can always just bring it back a little bit in Photoshop. So I've got the layer pretty much where I want it. So I'm just going to hit okay, and that's going to load it up in Photoshop. I'm not going to speed this up, but you can see down at the bottom how quick it is. And that'll throw me right back into Photoshop, and here we go. So now that we have this image here in Photoshop, we need to obviously make some corrections to it. You don't, at least I, I don't ever want to apply one of these layers globally to the entire image because it makes it flat and it makes it look overdone. So what I do is I come over to the Adjust layer, and I come down and hold down the Option key and add a Mask layer. And that's going to make the mask black, which will conceal everything on the topaz adjust layer and reveal anything underneath it, which in this case is our background layer. So I'm going to hit B to bring up my brush. I'm going to hold down Control and Option, and then I'm just going to drag over to get the brush size where I want it. It's a little too hard, so I'm going to come over here and make it soft. I'm actually just going to go all the way soft here. So now you can see that the image has a nice feather around it. <clears throat> And for painting this layer in, I usually go around 50%. So that's what we'll do here. I'm going to hit 5, and you'll see right here, update to 50. You can also hit 6, 7. You know, if you hit them quick, it gives you 68%. Or if you just hit 5, it'll give you 50. And then I'm just going to begin, uh, make sure I'm painting with white. So I'm going to hit X to do that. And then I'm just going to start painting in this layer around the Longhorn's face here on the nose in this general area. You can see the detail already coming into those shadow areas. <clears throat> now I'm just going to go through stroke by stroke, get a little bit lighter as I go down towards the bottom here, maybe 20 or 30 percent. I'm just going to keep making these brush strokes. Let's get a little bit smaller of a brush here, and I'll go through the, the horn area. Go a little heavier on these, because I really want those to pop out. You have to be careful around the edges, because what it'll do is it, 
it, it's trying to sharpen the image so it'll find edges or lines in your image and it'll create contrast around them so if you're not careful around the edges it'll create halos around your um, your subjects so you always want to watch out for that all right so i think we have the longhorn where we want it uh, it looks a little bit heavy on the body here so i'm going to hit uh, x to switch to a black paintbrush i'm going to paint with about 30% just go down here a little bit to remove some of that and I have the face where I want it except it looks a little too strong also and what I usually do here is I get the image where I want it and then I come over to my opacity layer and just bring it back a little bit because I don't want it to be overdone and that's pretty much where I need this image to be so from here on out I would probably remove this this blob in the background which is actually another longhorn and I might do a little bit of other work to um, to the background removing you know random colors like these blues here that might be you know trash in the in the water or the little creek there um, just cleaning it up and doing a little bit of work there and then um, that's basically it so here is the final result and thanks for watching